Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Just a quick heads up that Ubiquity released Unify Protect 1.19.0 a couple days ago. It updated cleanly for the most part on both of my NVRs. There's a lot of changes in here, both in the improvements and the bug fixes, especially some of these bigger ones down here in the bug fix section, totally make it worth doing. It's also worth noting that this has been baking for quite a while. And I, I'm really pleased with that. I think that Ubiquity in the past has rushed things partially because they didn't do the QA <laughs> ahead of time. So they had to rush fixes out. But now that they have a, a relatively stable platform, I like it that they are giving the uh, stable official releases more time to rev through the beta cycle, fix more things, get it right, so that they don't have to rush a dot release quickly afterwards in order to fix the stuff that they broke. So that's great. There's a lot of things in here around improving stability for wireless, which is awesome. And the UI has changed a little bit. Just go look at the UI. I don't remember exactly when all of these things changed, but I think it's great that they've added these detections to the UI. Like this one, for example, is not a smart detection. You can see the car you can see the person down here in the corner where it's a smart detection versus just an event. Having all of that up here so you can see what's going on is really, really useful. And I really like that. So I mentioned that it, for the most part, it was a clean installation. I still have one device that hasn't come back online. I had two of them. So I, I have two older cameras that often have a problem when it comes to applying a new firmware update. One of them, I just bounced it and it came back up. This one, I'm probably going to have to go hard reset it and, and then it'll pick up the, the update and, you know, re-provision and everything. That's what usually happens. So I don't think it's specific to this rev of protect or the, the firmware that's associated with this rev of protect, but it is super annoying because you have to have physical access to this camera in order to make it come back up. And it's just part of a bigger story around how Ubiquity's hardware fails way too often. I think I've RMA'd nine or 10 different Ubiquity devices all in between the cameras and the switches, mo mostly cameras. And unfortunately, this one's outside of the warranty period, so I, I'm gonna try to keep it going as long as I can, but it's still super annoying. Anyway, I think it's a solid update. I put it on both of mine and they've been running really well aside from this one camera that just doesn't want to come back up. So I, I would say it's, it's a solid release and uh, I wouldn't hold off any longer. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.